Greetings and salutations, this is Imperator Vespasian and his trusty sidekick. Hello. And um, we're going to have a look at some of our buildings now. Um, this building is for our Greek game, or Greek games, and it is a Greek temple, or a building of the design of a Greek temple. Yep. Indeed. Um, what do you notice about it to start off with? About the steps? It has steps. Yes. What's the difference between a Roman temple and a Greek temple? Well, no, I, I don't know about the steps, but I know about the inside differences. Go on, go on with the insides first. Don't Greeks have nothing inside their temples? No, that's the Romans. Ah, so the Romans have nothing oh, yeah. inside their temples, but Greeks, they put, full, put their full of luxuries. Yes. And goddesses and stuff, but the Romans keep theirs completely empty because it's just an image. Yeah. It's just, it, you, you, all you really care about is what's outside. Yeah. yeah, and there's nothing inside. And what did the Romans do with their temple? The Roman priests, what did they do with the interior of their temples? They decorated it, didn't they? No, they rented the space out for storage. Makes sense. They were used as warehouses. Who is it that keep money, keeps money in their temples? Well, that was the temples of Saturn. No, because the Romans used to tax them. Yes. Well, the temples used to get a lot of money, a lot of cash. Because people would donate, they would want to send a message to the gods, so you'd, you'd tip a priest some money, and they, they would get in touch with God for you. So that's when, when the Romans occupied it, they taxed them. Yes, and Saturn was, was the biggest money spinner, um, which is why so many Roman emperors tended to back the, back the temples of Saturn, because they could borrow cash from them for their projects and stuff. Yeah. Um, so the, the temple tax was, was a way of trying to get some of that cash back. Um, interestingly, the, the religion of the, um, the Romans, the Greeks, um, was more based towards, you had people who represented God on Earth, or gods on Earth. And so you could tip them money in order to send messages to God, right? Um, other Western religions at the time, they tended to take it a little bit too literally. So when you wanted a message to the gods, you told the priest and then killed him. So he could go to God and tell him. The Greeks and Romans cleverly got round that idea. To say, oh no, 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 we'll just send a message, it's fine. That's just found that interesting. Yeah. Uh, which is why I find dead priests in pits and stuff all over the place in Europe. Because we used to kill our priests. Not a very good profession being a priest in... Uh, Non-Roman Britain, non-Roman Germany. Not be a priest then. Yeah, yeah, it's a really bad idea. That's what people are trying to say. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, here's the model. It's that's a figure for scale. It looks basically like a huge slab of dressed stone. Um, a couple of windows to give light to the interior. Uh, unlike Roman temples, it didn't tend to have bother having windows. Um, they would often have roof slats to give light, but because it wasn't used by people, it didn't really matter. At the front, we've got a, a painted statue. Uh, the, you always see statues all over the place. Um, statues are always white nowadays because the paint's washed off, and it's been 2,000 years since they've been used. Um, statues were painted in lifelike colours. And the statues that have got no clothes on, they wore clothes people put clothes on the statues. So when you see these pictures of people naked, they're not supposed to be naked, they're supposed to be wearing modern clothes. It was a way of keeping the statue topical. So it moved forward with the times. Just an interesting point. Um, so the rear is the same as the front. That's the rear there. They're basically the same. However, We'll have a look inside. I'll we'll have to adjust this. Right, so you can see inside here, that is the interior. And I've painted it in a way that you get the, all that is dark, but you've got the light coming in the door, which is how the statues would, well, how the temples were aligned with the sun. So the sun would shine in the doorway to light up the, the model there, uh, the statue. Is. Uh, that is the Statue of Victory. Oh, is the... I did a lot of that. Is it Victory? Oh no, that's Nike, isn't it? Sorry, I'm no, getting I'm confused between the Romans. 
Um, so that would be Athena, sorry. That would be Athena. So that is Athena there. Uh, yeah, Victory was the... I'm trying to think, Nike... I'm trying to, what did Victory look like? No clue. Nah, well, we'll skip that then. Um, so that's pretty much what the inside of the temple would look like. It would the, the interior was all painted, and it was usually painted in sort of natural colours. Um, because the interior of the temple was supposed to be an exterior, if you get the symbolism. Um, and the background is painted black with stars painted onto it and various signs. So that's the interior. What do you think? It's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Just, uh... No, it doesn't want to zoom in on that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, it, did, it did it. Did it? Yeah, what do you think of that? So that's the temple. That's, that's what you get inside a temple, a Greek temple. And I think it looks quite cool. And it's very useful for being able to um, put your figures inside. Uh, some temples uh, use the loft space. So they would have stone stairs running up the interior. Usually there would be a false wall with a stone stair behind it. But I didn't want to make a temple that big. Um, I just wanted it for scenery and a little bit, scenery and a little bit of internal work. Um, so if I was going to build a bigger one, I would have a false wall with stairs, so you can climb onto the roof. That's a good idea, isn't it? Yeah. So ideas, what uh, you make it out thoughts. Hmm? What do you make it out? Of? Um, it's entirely made out of card. Believe it or not, this is actually made out of cardboard because I ran out of card, plastic card. So I made it out of cardboard and I stuck um, blocks of card on the side. That's uh, that's all entirely made out of balsa, and the statue inside is just a, a Greek with a little bit of conversion to make it into a female with a skirt, and then painted it bronze. Yeah. yeah. Uh, main reason I went for the bronze version um, instead of the painted statue was because I just thought it would look a little bit strange playing with figures. In, if you have, we had a situation where you had figures inside, the figures look like painted figures and the statue would look like painted, a painted figure as well. So you won't be able to tell the difference between the dude on the, on the plinth and the figures inside. So I painted that bronze so you could definitely tell it was a statue. Because it doesn't matter for the roof because they're not going to be involved in the game. Yeah. That was just my thinking. Although the statues themselves inside would usually, if they were bronze, they might keep them bronze. Um, but usually they would be painted. Questions? Well, what questions is there? There aren't any questions really, is it? It's boring. Mm -hmm. It's not like a normal video. Um, but yeah, that's the temple. I didn't spend a huge amount of time on it. But it was fun doing it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. That's the end of the video. Do you want to leave the outro? If you enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe and comment down below what you think of the Greek temple of Athena. Yeah. So it's goodbye from me. And goodbye from him. Goodbye. <laughs>